abizibe 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 was always in the pantry next to the school dining hall. There you would see him day after day helping his father to wash all the dirty dishes left by the students. Abiz Bey never said much and no one ever paid him much attention. He would just look up as another person walked in with more dirty dishes. He would sign quietly after the person walked out and then without a way would slowly turn back to washing dishes. Uh, yeah. The school decided to go the cross country race. Day after day, the training went on. The whole school was lively and excited. There were many discussions about who would win. The best runners from the trials were selected to run in the main competition. As the students went about their daily training, Abizi Bay ran and trained too. He was secretly following their path through the surrounding countryside, pushing himself to run faster. And the boys quickly made their way towards the starting line. But one runner took his time. He stood behind the runners, wearing black shorts a black shirt and a black headband to match. Who is that? The crowd whispered to each other. Which team is he on? Back at the spectators' stand, the cheerleaders sang and danced as the whole school waited for the runner to come back. Sure enough, there was a loud sound of feet stomping the ground and movement in the grass beside the trail. And then out came a boy running, dressed in all black. Along the final leg of the race he ran, gracefully and happily, looking as if he could go on for hours. And yet still, people didn't know who he was. All the students gathered around the finishing line, anxiously waiting for the winner to make it across the team. Suddenly, someone in the crowd recognized him and shouted, It's a busy day. One man wasn't surprised at all. Looking on from the side of the crowd was a busy day's father, smiling proudly. The son was the champion. Okay, the essence of this reading project is to help our people build up vocabulary bank so that they will be able to express themselves and express in their work. Because it's questions of every subject is set in the English language. And we want them to improve upon their English language so that they will be able to answer our questions that are put before them. Before these children can do well in any subject, their comprehension of the English language is basic and that is very, very important and so we are doing this to encourage them to read. So that is the essence of today's exercise and um, I'm also working towards getting some reading books for distribution in the schools for them. The director has given me some recommended uh, books and so uh, the next phase will be to get those books, give to them and work together with the teachers to give periodic tests on those reading materials to make sure that they spend time to read. I use this opportunity to remind government again of their responsibility to make sure it is not enough to just uh, change curriculum and make sure that your political history is entrenched in whatever curriculum we want the students to learn. It is important that the textbooks with which some of these teaching and learning can be enhanced. These are also bringing new subjects. <laughs> Everybody will get this pack. <laughs>